in the kitchen right now with Josh Swanson and Matt Lutze. They are here from Wasita Farms. They have a market in De Pere, and they were part of a big soup walk this weekend, and this is what they served, and now you're going to learn how to make it. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, what, what is the soup called? Oktoberfest Butternut Squash Biscuit. Very good. And it's using the butternut squash, which is so popular this time of year. Josh, Definitely. why don't you get started on the soup, and then we'll talk a little bit about the walk in a moment. Okay. okay, so I've got some onions, carrots, and garlic here that I've sweated in the pan, okay. just a little bit of butter. How long does that take, usually? Uh, it usually takes about five to six minutes okay. until the onions are just kind of nice and translucent like they are here. And you'll start to hear a little bit of a sizzle. And at that point, we're going to add our Hinterland Oktoberfest beer. Nice. Going so, local. Real I mean, that's kind of a signature for you guys, right? To use local Absolutely. stuff that you grow at the farms and that you find here in, in Green Bay. The entire soup is uh, based on as local as we can get. We've got all our vegetables from Ledger Gardens, and then we've got our beer from Hinterland. So. Excellent. So then Oops, you've got the beer pardon. in there. It yep. now goes in the butternut squash. Yep. So we're going to let this beer kind of get up to a little bit of a boil here, and then we're going to add our butternut squash carefully. Okay. And let that get in there. Colorful. We're going to add a pinch of salt. For every ingredient we add here, we'll just add a little bit of salt. Okay. And then once that comes up to a little bit of simmer, we're going to add some chicken stock. So that's eight ounces of chicken stock. All right. And then we're going to add uh, two cups of cream. Oh, this is, that's my favorite ingredient right there. You could use <laughs> cream, you could use milk, you could use half and half. You okay. could use skim milk if you wanted to, All or right. even just is remove the dairy. Is it as good though if you're using skim milk? Probably not quite as good. Okay. But if you wanted to remove the dairy and just use all stock, that would be fine as well. Now, while, you, while that's kind of simmering right there, uh, Matt, tell us a little bit about the soup walk. So, it was 11 different uh, locations in downtown De Pere, and everybody made a soup. And uh, people got to vote on it, right? They, you go around to different it. restaurants and you yes, kind of you pick go your around, favorite. Yes, you pick your favorite. There was also a canned food drive to help uh, local food banks. So it was uh, a good chance to drink, uh, have soup on a hot, on a cold, cold day. day. Very yeah, cold nice, day. nice fall cold day for rain. a soup walk. Yeah. Uh, you find out tomorrow if you're going to be the winner or not, and we'll put links on our website if you want to find yeah. out. But uh, talk about your market. Uh, you have a farm up in Door County, but now you have a market here in De Pere. Yeah. So our farm in Bailey's Harbor is certified organic, and we raise primarily beef, pork, chicken, but we also have produce in the summer. And we decided that we wanted to open, we needed another location, so we opened the market in downtown De Pere, which is really focused on not just organic or natural, but also local. Uh, we're over 70 local vendors from around the, uh, locally and from the state of Wisconsin. And I think that's a big thing is trying to keep those food cost dollars closer to home, support your neighbors. I think that's a lot more important than worrying about supporting people. Uh, not that people in California don't need our help, but I think there's a lot of people here in Northeast Wisconsin doing a lot of great things, and I think it's easier, to, it's better to support them than Fantastic. send the money well, elsewhere. It looks great. I know Emily Dean was live there, uh, I don't know, a couple months ago maybe, yeah. checking it out. So yep. now we're, okay, we're back in the kitchen, and let's just finish it up now. Okay, so basically we're just going to simmer this until our squash becomes tender enough that you can just pierce it easily with the okay. spoon that you're using. Wooden spoon works fine as well. And then at that point, we're going to add a quarter, or excuse me, a half a teaspoon of dry mustard. Okay. And a quarter teaspoon of dry coriander ground. Excellent. Okay. And then uh, we'll mix that in and kind of let that simmer just and a little bit. And eventually, would you be blending it? We will be blending okay. it. So I'm going to add just a little bit of apple cider vinegar to give it a little hit Ooh. of acid to make some brightness in there for okay. us. Okay. And then we'll basically take this and just blend it until it's nice and smooth. And, and then, then it looks like that. Finished product but here. But that's, you have a secret ingredient. Can we quickly show that? You want to, your brat. Ah, yes. Yeah. So what we'll do here is we're just going to ladle our soup out into our bowl. Looks so good. I and bet it was we've a hit. Got I read some Facebook messages that people enjoyed well. it, especially the brat with it. And what is the brat? So this is our uh, Wasita Farms beer bratwurst. You can really, you could use any of the bratwurst that uh, we make there down at the market. Okay. But this is the one I like. And you just kind of do coins out of the brat. He's yep. going to add that to the soup. We have the recipe for this bisque online, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin. You'll also find information about Wasita Farms. We'll come back right after the break to give it a taste.